Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. My mom has a blog now, finally, judy.perillo.com. Of course, I blog at chris.perillo.com, and we stream internet video and audio live at live.perillo.com. And we're talking about my mom for a specific reason. She had an issue with Internet Explorer 7. Get in line. I've been trying to switch my parents to Firefox for many years, and uh, they still haven't done it, despite the fact that they seem to complain about IE more frequently than any other program they use. Uh, she was having an issue specifically with the search history in relation to the search field in the upper right-hand corner of the Internet Explorer browser window. Uh, she's saying that apparently they search a lot. She wanted to get rid of all those past searched terms. And I thought it would be relatively straightforward to do, at least through the Internet Options, uh, by clicking the Tools menu and then going to the Internet Options option. Uh, on the General tab, which is the first or the default tab in Internet Options, under the Browsing section, press the Delete button. Now, by pressing that Delete button, you're not actually deleting anything. You're just getting to the Delete option dialog. And from there, you can delete temporary internet files, that's your cache or stored web pages, images, etc. Cookies, history, form data, or passwords, or all of the above. And in there, I was like, well, where's the search history? I don't see it anywhere. There's nothing there. Well, that's kind of crazy. Well, it turns out that if you want to clear the search bar history or that search field history in the browser window, you don't delete history as you would think you would do, you actually have to delete form data. Now this would be uh, any form, every form that you filled out inside of Internet Explorer. So if you, if you typed in your name over and over again, it would save a, you know this data so that you can click that data option in the menu that pulls down and get to it and have it automatically complete quicker, autocomplete. Uh, you have to clear out everything, not just individual entries in a form history. So if you want to clear out all your forms in Internet Explorer, not just the search form, but every form that you've entered in IE, uh, that's the button you press, delete forms. Now, the way to do it individually, which is what I'm going to recommend for mom, and I'm recommending to you specifically, is delete the options one by one. And the options would be if I type in a letter or a couple characters in my search pane get a little drop down I typed in I just hit the character S and it entered I apparently have searched for a lot of things with the letter S go figure then I can use my mouse cursor hover over any one of those entries and to get rid of any one over the other instead of deleting them all I can delete them one by one by hovering over it and pressing the delete button there you go the delete button, I'm sorry, delete key. There's not an actual button on the screen. There's a delete key. Just hover over it, click the delete key, and you can get rid of it. Without clearing everything, you can just clear it one by one. And again, I'm talking specifically about any form in Internet Explorer, whether it's the Google search form, whether it's your search for, uh, field in the browser window. Hover over it, press delete. You will delete each entry one by one. I said options earlier, but hopefully that didn't confuse you too much. It's a little late right now, and I've, I'm kind of uh, drunk on pizza, if that's even a possibility. Anyway, if anybody else has any other ideas about how to go about clearing forms, managing forms, uh, or possibly giving me the ideas on how I can go about converting my parents to Firefox, uh, you know, Suggest a way. I'll take any kind of suggestion, especially if I can get them off of Internet Explorer once and for all. Just have it out of their lives for good. Boy, that'll be the day. Anyway, uh, hope to hear from you soon. Just leave a comment, remark, follow up. Or, of course, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room. We're talking 24 hours a day, typically about technology topics, um, sometimes about other things that aren't necessarily related to technology, but somewhat related to what we do. Uh, like saving money online by using the coupon code CHRIS1 when you register a domain on GoDaddy.com to save 10%. I, that was a shameless plug for a sponsor. Sorry, I had to be done. You know what else has to be done? You have to swing by the chat room. Say hello. Just once. Just say hi. And uh, to get to the chat room, you only need to know one URL, and that is live 
www.perillo.com. We'll see you later.